hello everyone and welcome back here to Fading Hearts. I almost said Everlasting Summer there, <laughs> which is ironic considering I actually started that game up automatically instead of this one. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this could have ended up to be a very, very different recording. <laughs> anyway, I'm here as you can tell with my wonderful, wonderful friends Laura and April. Hello. Uh, hello. And, uh, <laughs> We're here to, to, to voice the characters, to tell the jokes, to live the life, and to talk about Laura's upcoming holiday. So I'm sure all this <laughs> and more will be happening over the next 25 minutes. There are going to be three episodes now on our, each of our channels that we've referred to Laura's new uh, or Laura's vacation. And I, I only mentioned it once, so... Well, yeah. we, keep, we keep mentioning it because we're so jelly. Mm. Yeah, we're once so per jealous. hour. Yeah, that sounds about right, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm okay. going to d Mickey Mouse's Christmas. What? What's it? Mickey's very merry Christmas party. God, you sound so angry at me. Don't forget the name. Don't you diss the mouse. <laughs> I was watching videos on YouTube and I was actually vibrating. I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> We're all very happy for you, but it's not going to stop us teasing you. No, I know. Yes, <laughs> that's fine. I don't mind. So, anyway, last time we, well, basically we told, what we told, we told a big story and we, uh, um, we did actually do that much else. So, right, so this time, let's see what we can do. Right, so, uh, one thing that's come up in comments is that we're actually going on a holiday, and I think that's the, the end part of the show. And I'm thinking that uh, we're going to need some money for that. In fact, I'm absolutely terrified we're going to need some money for that. So I'm just going to take the mm -hmm. opportunity to do a bit of work here quickly. Yeah. Right, and also I want to get one of these to Ooh. level one to see what happens. Yay, level one. And <laughs> what's happened? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Not even a bonus or anything. No. <laughs> Afternoon. Yay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, we haven't talked to Sophia in a while. Let's go and do that. Let's do that. Do you need something? <laughs> I don't have anything in particular to ask Sophia. Should I just chat with her? Yeah. I was just, I was wondering, just how good are you at finding out things? That's a weird question. <laughs> My methods are <laughs> secret. Trade secrets, huh? Anyway, I'm curious. What do you know about me? About you? Hmm. To be honest, I have never really bothered to find out much about you. <laughs> Who are you again? You're mentioned as one of the big three, but that's about it. If this were a story, you'd be a background character. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> a background character, huh? Hmm? I don't mean it in a bad way, you non-entity. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's the main characters who experience all the conflict in the story. The background characters, on the other hand, are generally content and don't have any problems. Lately it hasn't really seemed that way. Oh, and by the way, if you're so good at finding out things, what colour are your shoes? <laughs> I don't know, I haven't seen them since I was 13. <laughs> I can understand where you're coming here from, though. Do you want me to give you a hint? To be honest, I think I'm going to quit journalism soon anyway. It keeps on tracking weirdos. <laughs> what? But why? Because it keeps on attracting weirdos, you idiot. <laughs> I guess I've lost my passion for it. I heave an exaggerated long sigh. Sigh. <laughs> like she just That's too bad. <laughs> 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 I guess you'll find out a secret not even Claire and Rena know. Like how I pay my living expenses with no family supporting me. I have a job. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so how do you pay for everything? That's for me to know and you to find out. If you can. That shouldn't be hard to fit out, figure out, you bitch. <laughs> I'll just ask around town. <laughs> Yeah, that won't work so well. The NDA expired, so I could tell her about it if I wanted to. But then I'd have to kill her. My skills aren't worth as much as they used to be, though, so it isn't quite as impressive anymore. So, now. 
can you tell me about yourself? Start with your shoe colour. <laughs> I guess it's alright. She's blushing. Mm. But only a hint. Because you gave me one. Well, we didn't see that yet, did we? <laughs> alright, let's hear it. <laughs> a long time ago, I received a precious gift from someone special. <laughs> to this day, I keep it with me, and it gives me strength. Apparently, I should have given it to the, the hospital so they could sew it back on, but never mind. His name was William. <laughs> William. 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 <laughs> That's it. That's it. You don't make it easy, do you? I know how to keep a good secret or two. We chat about this and that for a while longer. I point out that her shoes are red, and she's surprised. <laughs> Talking with Sophia is always interesting. Apparently there is a, 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 a route in this game where you get to date her. Hmm. I'll be going now. Till next well, time. Well, you made her blush. Mm. Mm. She's blushing. Yay. Yay. I spend some time practicing my magic. It reminds me, I need Same. to change the sheets. Yeah. I know, magic. I think he's masturbating every single time that comes up. <laughs> well, you know, it's only every day. <laughs> <laughs> He's a teenager. Give him a break. I know. I just I know a lot of people who it. masturbate every day. <laughs> <laughs> Adults. Yes. Well, there's oh, nothing there wrong is. with it, kids. Go ahead and touch yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't don't post pictures. It's, don't do that. Crude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who are you gonna call? Claire. I dial Claire's number. <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Hello, Ryu. Oh, That's me. So as... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Says, Hello, Ryu, says Claire, <laughs> in doing personating Rina. <laughs> Hello, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Claire. Do you want to hang out sometime? Sure thing. I really love that river. Let's go to the park. I'll throw you in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet up tomorrow. I like to imagine that that's actually Claire from Outlander. And, like, his special skills is that he's, like, calling through time. And I really just want to watch Outlander. I think that's what's happening right now. We kind of got that impression. I think that's been mentioned three times in three Outlander, episodes. Outlander, 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 yes. Outlander. I got the books recently. I'm going to read them. Ooh. Mm. I already know what happened. <laughs> oh, there's a shock. <laughs> I, I, I'm actually thinking of TV series. I've been recommended I go and watch Sense8 on Netflix. Mm -hmm. uh, the person who person couldn't tell me that much about it, apart from the part Martha from Doctor Who takes her shirt off. Oh, Which brings us neatly back to masturbation, really, doesn't it? See Prima's <laughs> boobs? Because she's an attractive young lady. She is an attractive young lady. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, let's cut this recording <laughs> off, shall we? And I, I hope you enjoy this. We'll see you all next week. <laughs> I think they do enjoy the randomness, too, to be fair. Yeah. Which is pretty good because at least uh, they can guarantee the randomness. Guaranteed <laughs> randomness. That just seems wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, right. Check bookshelf. I just want. I just want to see what we've got, and I want to make sure that we've got new books in the bag. So, complete guide to databases, advanced programming, a provisional princess volume four. Yeah, okay. Right. Check bookshelf. Read a book. Advanced programming is okay. Complete guide to the database is okay. Provisional Princess Volume Four. Right, we haven't read any of those. Fabulous. Should we read a book? Why yeah. not? Okay. Should we have a, a Royal Guard's Life? How about that one? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I start reading a Royal Guard's Life Volume Two. While carrying out her duties, Viola realizes that she's actually a musical instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Oh and that the king, <laughs> and the king isn't always as confident in his role as she first thought him to be. I mean, let's face it—he employed a musical instrument. <laughs> as she, <laughs> as she struggles with her fear that she's too inexperienced to protect him, she realizes that he is too worried and will fail his people from lack of experience. Eventually, she decides to confide her thoughts to him, hoping he will open up to her in return. They discuss their insecurities and promise one one another to always do their best. The day afterwards, he has her executed. <laughs> Though she refuses to admit it even to herself, Viola is happy she and the king are closer now. I go to bed and fall asleep. Morning! 
Good morning! Sorry, Emma, I'm Jennifer Lee, and I've got totally the wrong voice. <laughs> In for Carl Smith, and today I'm going to stop impersonating and hand over to the real Jennifer Lee. Ladies? <laughs> well, it's that time again, I guess. What day was it again? Maybe I should just go back to sleep. Does one of you guys want to pick this one up? Um, you want to be a Jennifer Lee? I suppose that means that everyone can expect a... Just a moment. We have breaking news. <gasps> That's not me. Her voice maintains a calm, professional delivery, but she doesn't sound too pleased with what she has to say next. I'm actually holding my fingers to my ear right now. This morning, customers of Clear Sky Bank woke up to find their bank accounts frozen. You want to build a snowman? Oh my god, <laughs> Lord, she's going to murder you. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Well, by some strange coincidence, that brings us to the end of this series. I hope you enjoyed it. And, and I'm not entirely certain what I should do in this place, but it will be a solo effort. <laughs> hey, I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> what the? Just to remind our viewers, early yesterday morning, the bank's website was hacked using a technique known as an, as an SQL injection attack. Well, that's a relief. That was, that was That's the bit we haven't been working on. The resulting issues with the bank's database has caused several hundred thousands, several hundred thousands customers to log in to the wrong account when signing into the bank's website. Fortunately, yeah. in this country, in Soriyama, uh, um, good grammar is optional. <laughs> that's that's it. <laughs> Upon realizing the mix-up, many people withdrew the maximum amount of money permissible by the system. Clear Sky Bank shut down the only banking portion of its website when the problem was discovered, but word of the issue quickly hit the internet. Many customers panicked and rushed to withdraw their money and close their accounts. When reached for comment, a spokesperson uh, God, <laughs> listen to me. A spokesperson for Clear Sky Bank stated that the bank's decision to freeze the accounts was made in the best interest of its depositors. When asked about the details of the hacking incident, he declined to answer, citing ongoing investigation into the matter. He was later heard to stomp off muttering, damn that for you. <laughs> <laughs> for expert insight and analysis, we now turn to Ralph Pierce, a cybersecurity consultant. Ralph, are the reports true that this was actually a rather unsophisticated attack? Pilot voice. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, that's... I... <laughs> <laughs> and you just remind me of something. You guys all know International Talk Like a Pirate Day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, last year when that was around, uh, I refused to do it because I couldn't do a, a, a convincing Nigerian accent. <laughs> God. <laughs> I, I guess that's what you get for thinking you can save a quick buck by cutting back on your IT systems. Penny wise and pound foolish, as the saying goes. This is Ryu, age 17, attitude 147. <laughs> They'll get things ironed out eventually, but it's going to cost them many times more than what they saved by scaling back for the IT department, and the loss of confidence and trust is simply incalculable. Man, I'd hate to be the executive trying to explain a screw-up this colossal. He just does not care. He just does not care. But with the public so angry, getting fired just might be the least of their worries. Somehow, I doubt the Clear Sky Bank will be paying very well in the future. That is what we call a hint, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't think they'll pay mm. very <laughs> Since it's a major bank in Soriyama, this may have other effects as well. Oh no, the girls are going to lose their money. They won't be able to go on the trip. Yes, I hope that the IT guy working there doesn't get the blame. It's not his fault management was that stupid. Well, it looks like well, we were working on Clear Sky Bank, but we were we didn't weren't obviously weren't working on the right bit. But I got an achievement for that, so I don't care. <laughs> achievable. Yes. <laughs> Afternoon. Yet again, I find myself waiting for Claire at the park. This is practically a routine now. <laughs> I can't. I can't imagine what. <laughs> I thought you added that this is practically a routine now thing <laughs> like just because you're being sarcastic <laughs> and then I looked up and it was actually there what if I was going to be it's practically a routine now <laughs> it's like this game is so self-aware <laughs> <laughs>
I can't imagine why Claire likes this place so much. You'd think she'd be more interested in some place busier with more things happening. <laughs> Hi, Mio. Yeah, because he's creepy. Um, good lord, Claire, what's happened to you? You're invisible. <laughs> hey there, Claire. <laughs> Sorry for dragging you out here all the time. Next time I promise we'll go somewhere else. Like, you know, the cosplay cafe or the bubble tea shop. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, all right. Uh, the city near to where I live is uh, this place called Southampton. And um, on Saturdays, it has uh, a market right in the center of town. And what it is, is different food types. So there's, there's, there's Indian, Chinese, Thai, Jamaican, a really, really nice Jamaican stall. And lots, lots of other bits and pieces. Somebody's opened a bubble tea stand there. <laughs> Did you have them? Okay, uh, no, well, that's, that's, that's the thing. I was walking through there on Saturday, and uh, it's normally it's really, 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 really busy. I mean, incredibly busy. And there was queues outside of all of these stands, except for the bubble tea one, which was just this island of tranquility <laughs> in amongst all the chaos. <laughs> it's almost worth staying there for that reason alone. I don't, I don't. I don't think bubble tea in Hampshire really gets on. I don't know well, why you'd be saying that, but okay. It's cold tea with sweet milk and giant balls of tapioca that you suck yeah. through a big straw. You know, I should imagine people handed it back because it was lumpy. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Sorry for dragging you out there all the bloody. All right, I'm holding you to that. Is there a reason why you've been coming to this park so much lately? There are reasons, yeah. Really? I had no idea. I have some important memories here, so it's only natural that I like coming here. Yeah, that bush! You see that bush? I lost my virginity in that bush. <laughs> Got my V-card punched right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I feel stressed, I come here to relax and calm down. You remember that we first met here, don't you? Yeah, that bush. Yeah. <laughs> of course. That was a long time ago, though. I'd never imagined that it, that would be a reason to come back here. A lot of important things happened to this river, you know? Uh, you guys can't hear this, but the music just changed just as you said that. Yeah. Dramatic tone. <gasps> as you know, this is one of the three tributaries of the Sakuragawa running through the Trident City. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Historically, people tended to settle near important sources like water. Many of the greatest cities in the ancient world were located by oceans or rivers. Alexandria, Rome, Babylon, most of the lands that flourished then owned their prosperity, so the blessings of water. <laughs> most scholars think that Atlantis overdid it a touch, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Trident City is no ex exception even if it doesn't seem that way now. But that's not the only vital natural resource here. Oh, I wasn't aware of any others. The souls of children. Who knows, mm. maybe there's a tree growing here that makes people's dreams come true. Yeah, well, let's, let's, let's go over the sort of the, uh, the, the resort, natural resources of Soriyama, okay? So there's, there's the river. <laughs> there is, as you say, the souls of children. <laughs> um, there's the fantastic banking system. <laughs> And Rena's incredible Friday night pole dance. Yes. She practices right there on that pole. Indeed. She learned how to do her flash dance bit in that fountain. Yes. <laughs> Look at that giant city line, and they have no other places to go to than the park. She works hard for her money. money. <laughs> 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 that doesn't sound like something you would say, Claire. Why do you say that? Because you're a moron. Oh. A, a wish-granting tree. That sounds like something straight out of a fairy tale or an anime series, you know. Ooh, secret otaku. Is she <laughs> the magical girl? Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 Truth can be stranger than fiction, you know, and sometimes it's like imitating art. One of my favorite jokes. <laughs> for the first, there was silence filled the horses parliament as for the first time in history, somebody voted yay.
<laughs> Moving swiftly on. <laughs> I think I... April's just got that one. <laughs> no, I got it. Um, what if it all takes you? What if all it takes for you to really truly believe in it? I don't know. Click your heels together three times. Turn into a magical girl. Click, click, click. What a charming notion. I think that's really cute of you to say. Really? Good lord, is there anyone Rio is not hitting on this episode? <laughs> I wanted to see this side of you for a long time. I'm glad you really feel like you can open up to me. Thanks, Rio. Can I touch my boobs? But you need to be more careful. Well, I've been doing it for the last half hour, haven't you noticed? <laughs> You're important to more people than you think. Like that hobo over there. He likes yes. you. <laughs> He's got things for you to touch as well. <laughs> oh, like you, for instance. I imitate one of her classic smirks. Without missing a beat, she launches a quick jag, jab at my stomach, which apparently caused an earthquake. Yes, he dies. Oh, hey! Don't complain. You deserved it. I chuckle ruefully, then fall silent. Wordlessly, we continue walking along the river. The silence is warm and comforting, rather than being awkward or forced. I glance sideways at her. The smile on Claire's face is gentle and entirely at peace. It's an emotion I haven't sensed from her in a long time. Claire is an important friend to me, and I'm glad she's doing better. I hope someday she finds someone who will make her happy. We walk around in an agreeable silence until the time comes for us to part ways. Uh, evening! Gotta do everybody's job here. Laura's <laughs> like, oh, sorry, I was <laughs> doing anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I spend some time practicing my magic. Laura's always very attentive. <laughs> That's what Chris says. <laughs> What'd you say? That's what Chris says. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's just, it, it, we were walking, walking along and we hear coming across over the glen. We're here, the lads! Ah! Yeah. Chris, Chris, we're talking about your new new. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless him. Chris! Well, <laughs> Chris! <laughs> no, I, he'll actually think I'm shooting on him. So oh, yeah. Okay, don't do that. Well, we were waiting for him to join in, but no, he's not turning up. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to end it here. <laughs> and that gives um, Laura time to go and find where Chris is hidden. <laughs> he's in an hour and a half of peace away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Little does she know how much he, she pays us for this. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Thank you very much, guys, for coming along. And thank you very much to you, the listener, for listening. <laughs> so until the next time, thank you and good night. Good night. Bye.